In marriage, prayer will not always solve every problem until the character that causes that problems are solved. We always involve God on things we can handle by ourselves. Oh yes, you see, you are the problem that you are facing in your marriage. Either you or your partner or even both of you. You can't expect to have peace in your marriage if you don't accept to be the peace you want in your marriage. Oh yes, you always complain that your wife is not submissive or respectful, but you always abuse her. How do you think she will respect you? Oh yes, how do you think she will respect you? You always complain that your husband is chasing other women, but you are not giving him rest of mind. What makes you think that he will not go elsewhere for comfort? My dear, true respect is end. You can't impose it. Oh yes, you have to first start by being the change you want in your marriage. Oh yes, you see, one of the cardinal virtues of a peaceful marriage is patience and understanding. An incompatible person can be compatible if they agree to adjust. We make life so difficult for ourselves. Your marriage is not working well. Who is the cause? Who is the problem? You. Both of you. Oh yes, you don't expect what you cannot give. Oh yes, you want a peaceful marriage, but you are not peaceful. How do you think you can achieve that? Husband, respect your wife. Wife, be submissive to your husband. This is simple, my dear. Be careful about who you complain your marital problems to. Because a jealous demon can appear to be a supportive angel. A word is enough for the wise.